Hello, I'm Entrism and welcome to Let's Play Duskers. So, what is Duskers? Duskers is a roguelike strategy game where you control some little drones going into derelict ships looking for resources so that you can, well, survive and get to the next ship. Um, I played a little while ago when it was early access, it's been released today, and I found it a lot of fun back then. This whole sort of tense build up, not knowing what's going to be behind a door, and then suddenly all the gribblies go and eat your face. Yeah, it, it can be one of those games where you go from nothing to, oh god, oh god, we're all gonna die, fairly quick. Um, and I found it a lot of fun. So now it's come out today, we're gonna start a little LP of it. I realize this may be not everyone's pace because of the slow build-up, but it's... I really, really love it. It's it's really... well balanced for a game that... Roguelike can be a bit hit or miss with the balance seating issues, and strategy even more so, but it really kind of works. So we're gonna jump straight in. And I'll explain it as we go along. So we're actually going to restart. Just so that I can show you from scratch. Access log. Load bio, salvage vessel, cargo class. Version 5.1. Passive control systems. Pass. Navigation. Pass. Engineering. Pass. System diagnostics. Fail. Critical warnings. Fuel low. Six days. Crew size. One. Okay. So basically you start off with, like, no fuel. And you need to board other ships to go and, you know, get fuel or parts or whatever it may be. Uh, so there are a load of vessels around it. You can see this is a rock grayling um, barge with an infestation of 1, an age of 10, stable. Uh, down here we have a white ermine, government C, infestation of 1, age 12, stable, age 26, stable, uh, 1, infestation type. Salvage C, and R1 here, infestation of zero. So, basically, um, you have to go aboard these ships and get them stuff from them with the aid of your drones. We can go to the drones of D. We have Vaughn, Sapphire, and Longbeard. Uh, these are drawn from my Patreon backer list, which I had to massively, uh, like, cut down because the name list in this is very much beta, and adding names can sometimes break things. So I had to like cut down the names below a certain character limit, I had to make them still legible, I had to take out special characters, and I took out numbers just in case. So, um, for instance, I know Von is Von Meester, whose name I think may have been over the character limit, I can't remember, so I was like, Dan, you're just Von. I'm pretty sure that Sapphire and Longbeard both have longer names as well. But you may recognize your name if you're on a Patreon backlist. Anyway, so we are going to use you with your special abilities to try and grab stuff. So you've got like a tow and an interface, which means that you can like tow derelict drones and stuff. You've got a generator, which means you can power parts of the ship. And you have a motion tracker and a gathering implement, which allows you to like gather up resources for us. We can also get another one if we actually find one. And we can actually have three reserves. Uh, now, bear in mind that stuff like the motion tracker has 50 at 50. That's 50 at 50 uses. As you use it more, it's more likely to break down in the middle of a mission, and that would be bad, because you can be like, oh, I need a motion tracker. No. Balls. So we're going to just board this straight away, since it's got infestation of zero. This is like, hi, this is your easy mode one. And I, yeah, I don't want to change anything around. They're all good. Enter. So basically, you control most of the game from a sort of command console. So looking here, we've got A22 stable, which means it's unlikely to like break apart while we're on it. Older ships can have catastrophic stuff happen to them while you're on them. Um, government C, large blue, crew 10, hold unknown, communication archive found. All of them are corrupted. Okay, no uncorrupted communication found. Shame. Uh, you can actually find, like, communications as you go around the ship and around, like, the galaxy and find out why the entire galaxy is populated with, like, destroyed and decrepit ships of old varying ages and stuff. Uh, I haven't actually found out what's happened to the world yet. It's been a little while since I've played it, so let's hit continue. And this is how you control your drones. You can switch between, like, being able to, like, go, Hi! Hello! 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 And then you switch between your drones by, let me see, the tab. Or you can just hit the numbers. Hello, Longbeard. Hello, Sapphire. Each one having its own lovely little view. Vons looks really menacing. Uh, and you can also then command them from here. So we are going to go A1. Open the airlock. And then we're going to go navigate 1, which is Von, to R2, which is room 2. Ah. 
We actually haven't discovered room two. Let's discover room two. Okay, there we go. We're still with room two now. Let's do you manually. Okay, so there's some resources there and there's a generator here. So if we do gather, Vaughn will go and gather resources. So we have a few doors around here. We can't do anything with these doors because they're not powered. Your ship only powers A1. It doesn't power any of these Ds. D stand for door, A stands for airlock. So to be able to power these doors and be able to open and close them, we need to get power into the room. And we have Sapphire with our generator for that. So if I get Sapphire and I type generator one, no, no, two for Sapphire, room two, will that work? No power nets nearby. Uh, I guess I need to navigate, oh, whoops, navigate to room two. Oh, balls, I put a space in there, I didn't need to. Navigate to, I'm so good at this game, room two. There we go. And then I can tell generator two, which means drone two will do the generator. And there we go, we've powered it up. And you see we now can see uh, all the like doors and stuff. Now we know that there's no infestations on this ship because it told us in the, like, the log beforehand. So I feel perfectly happy driving around with Vaughn and having a bit of a look-see. Drone. Hollow. Recommend command info. Okay, let's do info. Can it use tow on destroyed drone? Okay, that's fine. Right, so let's uh, use swap. What do we have? Stealth? Ooh. Failure probability, 11.49. That's that's great. That's that's really just what I wanted to know about. We've also got a lure. They can drop these and then like gribbly monster type infestation things will go towards them. Uh, I'm going to grab stealth and I'll grab lure on someone else. If need be, we can just like sell them or break them down or something. Uh, open me D2, please. Scrap, gather. There's also stuff here, fuel. And there's D5. So let's just type in gather. Not specified drone, which means it will use our current drone. Ah, gather all will do it. Wait, we got zero days of propulsion, zero days of jump. Ah, so we got like nothing? Are you sure? Well, that sucks. Okay, open me D5. Resources. Gather. Num, num, num. Get a bit more scrap. That's a shame. D3. Hello. Hello. I'm coming back now. Right, long beard. Toe and interface. I'm assuming like I can't use toe. It did say beforehand. No. Let's swap. And I will grab your lure. Thank you. Goodbye. And then let's just actually use all, right? So let's navigate. And then one, two, three to room one, which is our ship. And they should all leave. Use exit to return to mothership. Ta-da! It's as simple as that. Actually, it's not anywhere near as simple as that because normally there'll be infections at, infested and you have to worry about bumping into them and then murdering all your drones. Uh, so P fuel, you now have six. I didn't gain any. J fuel, which is jump fuel, P being propulsion. Uh, two, I didn't gain any. Scrap, I got four. And we survived today. We also got stealth and lure. I don't mind who they're on at the moment. I can switch them around later. So we're going to have to propulsion around. It costs us two to get to there. It costs us two to get to there. Why does it say three when I go there? Ah, right. It'll cost us two from here. Okay, so it's three from where we're at the moment. That cost us five to go to now. Yeah, so I guess we just have to go to this one. Infestation type one. Now, it doesn't mean there's one infestation. It means there is one infestation type. The justice. Um, a salvage sea. Okay. Now, what's our objective? Gather intel logs from derelict spacecraft. 
Gather resources necessary for survival. Search for survivors. If objectives cannot be completed, recommend an action. Initiate a reset. Okay. Well, let's propulsion over here. Right, we're now at the justice. Salvage C, infestation type. Right. This is where it gets fun. Bored. Uh, I might want to switch around some of these. Thing being, you're right. Sapphire's probably gonna be stationary because she's got a generator. Wow, I've already used. Uh, I've gendered the drones based on the names. Terrible. Okay, Sapphire uh, is probably gonna be stationary because they have a generator on board, and the generator means that they are probably just gonna sit there powering something. Stealth is nice, but at the same time. I'm probably going to get rid of Lure, because I want space. I might dump Lure onto Sapphire, just so we've still got it. Right, how do I mess with this? Rename drones. No, configure. Change loadout. Right, yeah, okay, so let's change Lure. Can I... How do I swap this? Enter, swap upgrade. There we go. Okay. That's bored. Twenty-six stable. Salvage C. Repairs and maintenance. Crew six. Hold heavy metal. No uncorrupted communications found. Okay. Right. So we start off knowing about room two, which has, by the look of it, jump fuel and scrap. I think green is jump fuel. I don't know. It's got fuel of some kind. Unfortunately, I don't know about the room on the other side of this door. Now, I could motion scan, or I could just go, um, and risk it. Honestly, I'm going to risk it on the basis of, otherwise we just have to leave. So I'm going to open the airlock. Okay, we haven't been attacked. That's a good sign. Okay, D10 is open. I'm going to use motion sensor. So, uh, Vaughn has a motion sensor. Right. We now know that that room there has a Gribbly in it. Which actually is pretty good for us because we know R2 is open. The thing is, we don't have a way of opening uh, D4, the door to R2, because we don't have power plugged in yet, so we need to find somewhere. Scrap. Right, we'll keep gather that in a bit. Scrap. Power inlet. Okay, uh, so let us start off with a navigate of two, which is our generator drone, to R4. And then let us gather all with one. Just don't, like, <sighs> did you just ram each other? No, you just finished your order. Um, generator two. Gather one. Okay, you see we've now got power to certain parts of the ship. Uh, I will need to use motion sensor again because I'm not sure about R5. Now, remember, there was one type of infection. That doesn't mean there's only one infection. It could be two infection, but of the same type. So we're going to pop a motion. Actually, we won't pop a motion just yet. Need to think about this carefully. Um, we're going to navigate... One to R3. They're going to gather with one. Oh, there's a power over here as well. I completely ignored. Whoopsie. Okay. Right. So here's a choice. There is an airlock at two. So we could actually change where the ship is docked and go dock at airlock 2. However, I want to get into the central room where there is a Gribbly. So I could get the Gribbly to go out into, like, R3. I can actually kill the Gribbly if I wanted by then opening the airlock. Um, but since I only have control over this one side, I would have to have control over here to dump it into R5. 
because I can't control it from R3, which I assume is the other doors, because that would just get it into R3. So I'm going to have to do something here. So I think what we'll do is we'll just double check. I've looked through this entire room. So I never actually went up to the top. Good thing I checked. Gather. Nom. Then I'm going to navigate. Can I use the command all to R4? Yes. Right. I'm going to close A1 and just make sure we don't get a gribbly on the... Uh, and I'll close... Oh, whoops, that was meant to be D10. Um, just make sure we don't get like a space alien coming onto our little ship. That'd be terrible. I'm actually on the ship. That'd be very bad. Uh, then I'm going to motion. Strategic option. Herd enemies into room 5. Yeah, but I kind of want to look through room 5 myself. I could herd them into room 3. No, I can't, because I need to be in room 3 to do that. That would be a very silly plan. So instead... I want to look around room 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go D6. Then I'm going to take 3, not 1. Because if I move 1, we lose the motion sensor. Let's check if there's any resources in here. Yes, there are. Actually, looks like three scrap. Okay, in which case, I'm going to need to get Vaughn to move into R5. So we're going to navigate one to R5. We'll lose the motion sensor. And then gather all with one. Then we'll open D3. Woo! Fuel access spot. Now, fuel is what we're looking for. Scrap's nice because you can use it to like upgrades and stuff. But what we really want is fuel because without that, we die. We've got propulsion. We've got no jump fuel, but we did get propulsion. Okay. So, we can't dock from R5 because we'd have to ignore the space alien. So, what we're going to do is get everyone back in R4. Yeah, so navigate all to R4. Close D3 after you. D6 after you're done. And now, motion. Now, D7. Right, it's now moved into R5. We could leave it there, but I could do this. Warning, opening airlock with depressurized room. Unsecured contents will be evacuated to space. Bye. Oh. It looks like you died. I should also close that door or we will get space radiation in. That's not a good idea. So, D10. Um, then I want to navigate all into R3. Then we need to power the generator. Now we can open D9. There is anything worth... <gasps> A drone! We found carbine! That was totally worth it. Tow or swap? Let's swap just to see what's in there. Turret. <gasps> is that like... Arms or disarms drone turret. So it's just like a turret you put down or a turret you fire. I have no idea, but we're towing you. Okay, can uh, navigate. I need three to... What room are we in? Room six. Tow. Three. Okay, and then navigate everyone through this airlock. Navigate... 
all are one. Let's get Carbine home. Bring Carbine home! Um... Seriously? There we go. We've got fuel, we've got scrap, we also got carbine with the upgrade turret. Now, of course, carbine could probably do more stuff. Like, that's not a great deal of stuff on carbine right there. But we have a turret. Now, I don't actually know if that's a turret you put down or a turret that just works from the drone. Like, I know in the beta you've got a Gatling cannon, which is like effectively something that works from the drone. But it was like a forward arc, so maybe the turret's like an all-around arc. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's look at the modifications. So carbine needs to be healed. Full repair will cost us seven. What else are we going to spend it on? Yeah. Full repair. Execute. What's the turret do? Tell me about the turret. Arms or disarms drone turret. Hmm. Failure probability, only 8.43%. Still scary high. Um, add 50 bullets. Can't seem to do that because it maybe it's full. Come back to scrap. Repair the upgrade. Okay. Can I create an upgrade? I can create a gatherer, a generator, or a tow. I can afford a generator. Now, two generators is pretty useful. Because that means you can power up, like, loads of the ship. Or you can power up somewhere, move into somewhere else, and then depower somewhere while keeping the old place powered. So an extra generator would be helpful. Not sure a generator and a turret are most important. Actually, I guess you could have a generator and turret on the same one. Because you just plonk down, then you put your turret out. Don't really need two gatherers, although if you lose your first gatherer, then I'm going to keep the scrap as backup because I don't spend it right now just in case I screw up and I lose a drone. But that's where we're going to end it for today. So hopefully you're enjoying Duskers because I, I really enjoy it, especially the fact that um it can be really tense sometimes. You Of course, you haven't seen the tense stuff yet. You haven't seen the tense stuff yet. This is like, huh, this is the basics. This is how you go out. Look, an alien. Whoops, it's now in the void of space. It might not be an alien. It's some sort of infestation type. Whatever. It gets scarier later on. And I will say, I try not to swear in my videos these days because, frankly, my lexicon needs to get, you know, exercise. And also because it doesn't make sense just gating off to a certain number of people when they might as well be able to watch my videos too. Uh, because, you know, why limit my audience? Uh, but I can't help if something terrible happens and in the heat of the moment, I might swear. Because it could be scary and I get flustered sometimes. So, just look out for that. Anyway, I've been interested in If you have liked, please remember to like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Dusk is out on Steam now. Uh, if there's anything like the beta, I like it. I really like the beta. Haven't played through the newest version until now, though. And I can't remember any of the tactics I came up with, which means I'm going to die. If you like the series so far, if you've enjoyed this episode, if you've enjoyed the game, please let me know down below. Do like the video, etc. It's always a really good indication about whether you want me to uh, cover a particular game or whatever. So, you know, there's that. And, of course, if you want to go see the old series um, and see how hilarious that went, uh, then, of course, you can find that just by typing in Duskers on my channel or something. But until next time, I've been at Elysium. Stay shiny.